Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best SNES emulator you can possibly get for your PSP. So, I'll leave two links in the description. The first link will bring you to this page. It's just the PSP scene beta. And as you can see, it's the normal um, SNES 9X, but this one has actually been modified. This was uploaded in 2017, so it's not actually too old. As you can see right here, it's got higher speed emulating. So a lot of you guys said in the last video that your games are starting to lag and they're not running at full speed. Well, this one will hopefully make sure your games are up to speed. So as you can see right here, it says recommended configuration. So on the settings page in the video menu, you can enable these functions if you want to. I know it says for our Super Mario Kart and maybe you want to add some more stuff or enable some other things. The only one I'm interested in is this one right here, PSP Clock Speed, select to 333MHZ. So I will definitely be doing that uh, once I install this new emulator to make sure the games are running at full speed on the PSP. So, I've got two links to download. You can either download it from this page, but you will need an account. Or you can just go over to this download straight away and just download the zip file. This one also includes ROMs and the PSP Scene Beta one doesn't. So, let's just go to our downloads folder and extract this. My PSP is connected to my PSP, so I am just going to drag this folder. Now you can just check it's there, as you can see here it is, and it's got a couple of ROMs. You can add some more if you want to, ROMs are easy to find on the internet. Anyway, so now I'm just going to go on my PSP and show you guys how to speed some games up. Right guys, so I'm on my PSP now, I'm just going to go over and launch my custom firmware, then I'll launch the emulator. So here it is, SNES 9X TYLME mod. So let's just open this one. Right, so you just need to press um, 0 or just circle. Right, so once you've pressed X, you can just scroll down to your ROMs folder, press circle on that. Now it's just going to bring you to your PSP files. So I'm looking for this one right here, the S9X. I'm just going to press um, X to run. Then I'm going to go into ROMs. Here are my ROMs here. I'm going to choose um, Super Mario World 2, so just press X to run it. So as you can see, it's actually lagging a bit. So I'm just going to press home to go into this option. Then I'm going to scroll along to um, PSP clock speed. So I just want to set this as the highest clock speed possible. As you can see, you can change it up or down. 3333 3, 3, 3 is actually the highest. So now I'm going to back out. And you're never going to get um, SNES emulation perfect on the PSP. It's not really capable of running at, at full speed. As you can see, this is definitely playable. In, I'd say it's, you can actually put some FPS counter on as well. So if you go into video, scroll down and show FPS. Just turn that on by pressing up and then press circle. Go back by pressing circle. There are many other options you can do which are displayed on PSP Scene Data. They look like they were for Mario Kart, so I haven't actually enabled them on this game. Alright guys, so now I'm actually on the game and this is actually running at a really decent speed. It's actually running quite fast. Um, the FPS doesn't seem to be showing even though I enabled it, but I would imagine it, it's probably about 60 FPS. 
If not, then definitely 30, whatever this game's capable of running. So there's no problems, this is just like the actual console. If you guys want to just quit the emulator, just press the home button, scroll over to game and just press exit right here. And then exit just by pressing X and then press X to OK. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.